Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, he's really growing. Let me get a good shot of that. Hey, guys. So, we are candling the duck and goose eggs. And I guess we can candle the chicken eggs, too. So, we're just going to give a we quick update. What day is it as far as the ducks and the geese go? Um, Saturday. Today is a week for the goose eggs. So, today's day seven for goose eggs. Today is day five for duck eggs. So, okay. that's right around where you should candle both of them. Okay. Um. All right. Well, let's look at them. Yeah. Or geese first? What, whichever. I'll do geese first. Um, so, that one doesn't look like it's got anything. I don't see anything. We're going to give it another day, but we'll probably throw this one out. Yeah. Um, it's just not having any sort of development. And you guys will see the difference. Another one. This one there definitely it is. has development. There's the baby. Right there in the middle. Right here. Yeah, right there. Is that the big one? Yeah. Here's another one that has development. You can see that's the veins. That's awesome. So that's two out of three, which isn't bad. So, so we far. incubated the big egg, not even thinking that it might be a double yoker. Yeah, and we didn't it ended up being it. a double yoker. This isn't the big one, though. Is this one good? This one's another good one. There's the baby. And the veins. See it? Yeah. Right here. In a few more days, those are gonna look crazy. They're gonna be moving around. Yeah, it won't take long. So this so is here's the double, double yolk. yoker, and some of y'all might hate us for it, but yeah, uh, we're gonna, it's it's developing. We're gonna science it. Look, well, we didn't know when we put it in there. We should have candled it. We didn't it. candle it, and it had already been in there for a little bit. Before yeah, we so it out. both of the yolks are developing. Uh oh, both of these yolks are developing, and that's. So, the, I mean, we looked it up and the, there's not really any cases of those hatching. So, I, we don't have maybe high we'll hopes. For, yeah, well, maybe this will be a science experiment. Can you all let us know what you think in the comments? No uh, development in this one. I don't see any, no. And the last one for the goose eggs, we have development. Oh, wow. So, that's four good ones plus the double yoker. Yeah, we're not going to count that one. Genuinely candle the duck eggs now. Before when we did it, it really wasn't Tom, but you can oh, see wow. some Oh, wow. Okay, so this candler definitely works for white eggs. <laughs> yeah, it works really it, well. It doesn't work for the really thick But Y'all see the baby eggs. in there? It's weird it has the circle around it. That's odd. Well, I mean, we've never... I we've never done duck I've eggs. I've never done duck eggs. No. This is a first for us. So. so oh, wow. That's two. How many duck eggs are 13. in there? Thirteen. Thirteen. Is that a Cayuga? I believe so, yes. There's three oh, for three. Wow. Look at that. You that can is... really see well in these, despite the thick bloom. Make sure they're all turned the right way. And yes, it's okay that these are open like this with goose and duck eggs with waterfowl eggs. After about the five day mark, I let the goose go a little longer just because the ducks hadn't caught up yet, but you're supposed to cool them for 10 minutes. So you take the lid off, cool them for 10 minutes, and then mist them with water and close them back. And that sort of imitates the mama duck or goose getting off the nest, going and swimming, eating, pooping, whatever, and then coming and sitting on them again. Hmm. I so. did not know that. I did not do that the There's first time. There's another one. Oh, wow. Okay, Four so, four. These you are know, very fertile. they're going to be very fertile because we have five males and four females. But this is why we're doing this, to get some more <laughs> females. Yeah, and we're going to have to find some homes for all some, of these some males. males. Or we're going to have to eat some duck, which I've never had duck. There's that is so five for five. Odd. That's odd, yeah. That, the, the circle. The, yeah, I've never, ever seen Because, like, that with a before. chicken egg, if you see the ring, like, that's, like, ring of death around the egg. Well, that's but not around the egg. That's no, just around, it's the, around embryo. the embryo. Hmm. Maybe it's just a weird phase we've caught them at to candle, but... I don't know. Well, like I said, I've never candled There's There's six for six. Oh, Lord, have mercy. What are we going to do with all these ducks if they hatch, honey? <laughs> Excuse Be you. Be so happy to have them. Oh, oh, no, there's some in that one. Yeah, that's I was a little worried there for a second. That's There's seven. Definitely development in there. What's the temperature been hanging out at? Was it good when you... Well, and it's not going to be... It's not good now. I mean, it's been around 99, 100. Because it was hot when I come in here the other day. That one's good. <laughs> so, okay. I wonder if they're all going to be good. We washed the duck eggs also, just like the... Another one's good. I've ne we've never had this type of... 
progress with well, eggs. Well, I mean, you know, you're not supposed to have, you're not supposed to count your birds before they hatch either. So oh, that's fair. Looks looking good. I wonder. I mean, I have to get them all straightened out when we're done. But that one's looking good. How many? How many days for ducks? Twenty-eight. Okay. Thirty for geese. We started the ducks two days late, so they should hatch at the same time. Hopefully the geese won't be that much bigger than the ducks, but they'll be easier to raise together and they'll be bonded. So the the geese will protect the ducks. That's that, a, that looks like a spider. That looks really good. Cool. That's a Cayuga egg. I'm excited for the Cayuga babies. Yeah. But Tell you me. know, the Kathy Campbell mixes might be really pretty with this pullet. Oh, that's Is, our first one without let development. Let me swirl it all the way around. I noticed too that that egg looks a little porous. Are you sure it there's no porous. development? I don't see any. Okay, set that one to the top corner so we, we know. Let me go over here next to the thing. I don't know if we've candled. We've probably candled a couple of these twice, but that one, wow, that was a big circle. That's odd. I hope it's not the ring of death. I don't think it is. I think it's I just think the way so. that it's forming. This might be a duck egg thing. That one's good too. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Are I think we, we did a couple of them twice, but that's okay. Are we going to look at the chickens now? Or? We can look at them. Let me get these straightened back up. Um, we'll go ahead and pause for a minute, let these cool off, and I'll miss them and get them straightened up here. Make sure they're all turned the right way and everything. Oh, there went the dogs. And our camera went off. <laughs> Might hear our dogs playing in the background. They're just two full grown puppies. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Oxer and an Australian Shepherd mix is a they're only a combination. They're only and a half. sixteen months old. Why don't you set the camera on top of the? Okay, you can do it that way. This is so the so silk. Cute. Oh wow, wow, he's really growing. Let me get a good shot of that. Turn it around a little bit so we can really see. Oh, it's working. This is not the best candler for these because they're a little small. I love the candler for the light colored eggs, but I don't love that candler for the darker ones. Really and they're moving. moving. It's moving. Wow. Wow. Which they're on day 11. 11 days left. So they're about here. No. 10 days left. Wow. And actually, before, they, before lockdown, we've only got lockdowns on day 18. So, we've only got a week left before lockdown. That we might get our first pip in a week. March babies. The geese and ducks might be like Easter babies. Yeah. Ooh. They're a little hard to see, but it's in I there. I can see that one. Really good. It, show up better. it shows up better on camera than in person. Turn it around there. There's the baby. Yeah, it's definitely moving. Very exciting. Exciting? Exciting, yes. Oh, silly. That joke's been made silly. a million yeah. times. You can't barely see anything in that. You can see some veins at the bottom, so it's still pretty, seems healthy. But it's just not candling very well at all. Because Should we try a different so flashlight with the darker ones? No, because we don't need to look at all of them. I mean, we should probably. Okay. Yeah. The air sac, but that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> Let's try one of the blue ones. Those are the ones I'm most excited about, and they're going to be the ones that are most difficult to see through. Nothing. Yeah, I can't see anything. Still cannot see anything. We have no idea what these. I don't know. I don't know what we should do. Could wonder if we could make a specific candler. No, with the shell that color and thick and healthy, there's not much we can do. I mean, if we just can't see them, we can't see them. Well, I don't want an egg bomb in there. They ooze usually. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> he always, you can see an air sac. He's not had the joy of being around a rotten, stinky egg yet. Not like an egg bomb. They, they pop like. Sounds like a gunshot. You told me. You can see the egg shell or the, the egg sack. air sac. Air sac. Egg sac. Egg. That's it though. We're just gonna have to have some faith in these. <laughs> to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I guess. But 
It's a little scary. What about the Marines? Your sack. Sean seems to think that we're gonna have all female ducks. We'll speak ducks. it into existence. <laughs> we're have all females, okay? All ducks. All, all of them. Ducks are gonna be all ducks. No, all of them. Just every. All of them are gonna be. <laughs> I'm so excited for these baby geese and these baby ducks. Yeah. Baby chickens are always awesome, but we've done those before. This is my first time hatching the, the geese and the ducks. I've done geese, and they're one of my most favorite things ever. But I've never done ducks. I hope they're just as sweet when you hatch them. I'm sure they're super sweet. They're gonna be really bonded over. They're all gonna hatch together. Yeah. We've only got a week left on the chicks, so that means two weeks. A week to lockdown. Oh, a week left till lockdown on the chicks. But usually, ever since I've started, I bet those silky eggs are gonna hatch early. We put them in the lockdown. Those silky eggs are popping out. Yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Ever since I started hatching chicks, usually on lockdown day, I get a pip. And then, like, over the next four days, they, the rest of them hatch. Which we got to be really good about leaving them in there. Yeah. We're really bad about that, and we get a lot of, we've got several shrink wrap chicks in the past. Which we always help them and stuff, and that usually turns out fine. Yeah, we'll but leave them all in there. This time. we should leave them in there until they're all dried off. We yeah. get several we can get out at once so we don't shrink wrap too many, and then make sure they're getting missed yeah. and stuff. I mean, there's always a one or two that kind of need assistance. Yeah. Anyway. But how many days are left until we lock down the ducks and the geese? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Wait, we're on day we're five. Down, we're on day... No, seven. We're on day seven. Yeah. They lock down day 28 for the geese. Okay. So we have another 20. We have two more weeks. Okay. Which is crazy to think that they've had that much development. And they've still got two weeks left. I don't know. But I guess I don't it's think really so. so much bigger. I'm so uh, excited uh, for those. I cannot believe we've got 12 out of 13 duck eggs have have had developments. I don't know what we're going to do with that many ducks. I'm so excited. I love duck eggs. They're so tasty. Our yard is going to be They're so mud delicious. I'm going to get one of those big dog pools for them. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, like the foldable collapsible dog pools with the drain so we can make them really How are they going to get in it? You going to we'll build a, a rock ramp? up there. A ramp? No, we got rocks. Oh, okay. They can jump on the rocks. <laughs> okay. The geese will have no issues. Yeah. But the ducks will need a rock or something to get up there. Yeah. I mean, we could build around, but that's a lot of work. And they knock it over and get stuck in there. We'll put some rocks in it on the inside yeah. and the outside so they can get in and out. I think the, the thing that I'm most excited for is seeing the different colors that I'm the ducks super excited are going to come color out. Mixes because, <laughs> so for females, we have three khaki Campbells and one Cayuga. So it's not a lot of variety, but we have two Pekin males. We have two Swedish. two Swedish males, a Ruin male, and a khaki... Ruin mix. Ruin mix male. We don't know what it is. We We're don't, not sure he's what the it prettiest is. one. We, <laughs> saved, we saved him from the creek. Yeah. After somebody yeah. saved somebody saved him... From the dumpster. Our from neighbor. a trash can. Our neighbor, yeah. Put it in the creek, thinking the ducks that were down there, because they have pet ducks in the creek. They have two, uh, a couple of Pekins and a wild mallard out there. And... Uh, they thought that they, would, that they would take care of the baby duckling. It did not. I had to crawl in the creek on my belly under a rock to get this baby duck. That was fun. And it turned out to be a boy, of course, well, we because already, that's how it is. And we already had ducks in the incubator, so we're like, we'll take him. Yeah, and we they had were ducks the same, in the brooder. They were the, or incubator, yeah, brooder. They were the same size and everything. It was perfect. Yeah. So. His name is Little Dicky. That's what the neighbor named him after the artist yeah <laughs> so that's his name then of yeah. course he turned out to be a dude uh, yeah well he's really pretty though he's really pretty but we he's have too he many looks like males a khaki Campbell with just so the colored if head. you're close or in southwest virginia and you want some male ducks you just leave well, us a know. comment because <laughs> we'll... they're going to be pretty mixes especially with the swedish and the pecan mixes pecan mixes are super cute Oh, yeah, they are. Especially if we get a Cayuga like pecan mix with the dark beetle sheen. So they might have like green. white spots or something. Yeah. The Swedish mixes will definitely probably have white spotted chests. I'm, I'm excited for the geese because they are the sweetest little babies. Yeah, the geese is pretty exciting. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we will update you guys on the chickens, I guess, in a week when we lock them down and see if there's any yeah. pips. And because we're not going to be able to candle them much other we'll than candle, a couple of silkies and, and stuff. We'll but. candle the ducks and the geese. We'll be candling those more week. every 
five to seven days we can candle those. Yeah, so in another so I guess whenever the chickens go on lockdown we'll candle the ducks and the geese. Yeah. So. We'll show you how the incubator works and everything come lockdown because we have to take the turnaround and open up side B of the water tank. And He's done all the research the on the incubator. I don't know. He's I, the I, birds have become my thing. Well she likes the goats. Nobody likes goats. <laughs> well I'm fault. yeah well I'm also getting another animal. I'm not ruining that just yet so <laughs> but I love the birds too, but he's really taking a liking to them, so I'm just kind of letting him, because if he's going to do it, then I'm not going to complain. <laughs> but we'll update you guys in a week, and I will. we will see you then.